Well, good afternoon, everyone. I want to welcome you here today. If we haven't been introduced, my name is Drew Kowicki. I'm one of the pastors here. And I'm thankful to see you all here as we honor and celebrate the life of Barbara Jean Swigum. And I know many of you have known her for so many years, decades. And I'm thankful to know her for about 10 years myself. It didn't really hit me until my daughter showed up. How many lives she's affected. So I'm thankful to honor her today and spend this time with you guys. So Heavenly Father, we are thankful exactly where she is. She's not lost in your economy in no way. We know exactly where she is. So please bless each heart that's here. Minister to each one in Jesus' name. Amen. Would you all stand with me, please, as we sing praise to the Lord. Christ. 
Christ shall come with shouts of acclamation and take me home. What joy shall fill my heart, then I shall bow in humble adoration and there proclaim my God how great thou art it seems my soul my Savior God to thee how great thou How great thou art, and sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art, how great. Father God, Lord, we do thank you that you are great. Lord, there is no other name besides you, Lord. We thank you that Barbara is with you in your glory, God. We continue to worship you, Jesus. It's all about your name, God. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. Jesus, a name above every other name. Jesus, the only one that could ever save. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. Oh, we live for you. Holy. of every song we could ever sing worthy of all the praise we could ever bring worthy of every breath we could ever breathe we live for you oh Jesus Jesus, a name above every other name. Jesus, the only one that could ever save. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. Oh, we live for you. Open up my eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love. 
I will build my life upon your love. It is a firm foundation. I will put my trust in you, O Lord, and I will not be shaken, and I will build my life upon your love. It is a firm foundation. I will put my trust in you, O Lord, and I will not be shaken and holy. There is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me. Sing worthy. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. We live for you. We live for you. Live for you, Jesus. You can be seated. As a group today, we're going to do three things together. First, we're going to remember and celebrate Barbara's life. Second, we're going to grieve. We're sorrowful. We're sad that she's been taken, and taken quickly. We didn't get a chance to say goodbye, many of us. So we're going to grieve that loss. But then, lastly, today, we're going to celebrate who Barbara is in eternity, and that she would want our lives to mean something for her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. She would want us to take her qualities and the things that she taught us and display to us and drive those deep into our personalities and that we would live out her memory in our lives. So to begin our time through remembering and celebrating her life, Mike Kirk's going to come and tell us about her life. Mike, come on up. This is Barbara's brother. I'm Mike. Uh, first of all, what I got here is, first I look out here, and I see all the love you have for my sister Barbara. By being here, we want to thank you from the family. And after that, and what Pastor said, I, something said, there's a verse I wanted, I wanted to find something that, about my sister. So, it's in Matthew. <clears throat> but blessed are your eyes, because you see. And your eyes and your ears because you, I need these, excuse me. <laughs> I'm, I can't see that well anymore. And your ears because you hear. For I tell you the truth, many prophets and righteous men long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Well, I'm telling you, my sister saw it, she heard it, and she preached it. She loved the Lord. Okay, so we are here to celebrate my sister's life, and I know she's in God's glory. My sister loved the Lord and her family, Tom, her husband, her children, Christy, Kirk, and George, her grandchildren, Amanda, Morgan, Kyle, and her precious great-granddaughter, Gunner. And her brothers, I am Mike, the youngest, 
That's how I got up here. They all threw me under the bus. Yeah. My brother John, uh, my brother Doug, who is with her in the Lord, and our nieces and nephews, Colleen, Jennifer, Teresa, uh, Kevin and Kevin Jr., Wendy, Chelsea, Ashley, Jennifer, my daughter, who's in Europe, uh, also Tom's sisters, Marilyn, Kathy.